What's going on, YouTubers? Our collector and Ethan Monster here, Hi. and baby Ari's here. Hi, Ari. Tell him what we're gonna do today. We're gonna do a maze tour. Oh, maze tour! Right now, I gotta warn you guys. Right now, right, Ethan? Yeah. It's a little spooky inside the house right now. I see skulls. I see chains. I see fake blood. Don't worry, it's not real blood. It's fake blood. We are gonna do something we've never, ever, ever done, ever in my entire life. We're putting on our own haunt, haunted house tour. <laughs> a haunted house tour. We're going to put a maze this year at our house. This is the first time I've ever put a maze. I've wanted to since the beginning of time. I've always wanted to do a maze. Probably since I was your age, Ari. Just never had the proper layout and house to do it and stuff to do it. That's what you need. This year, Ethan helped me out a lot. It was just me and Ethan that put all this together and Ari threw in some ideas. But man, this was a labor of love. Wait till you guys check out the house tour. Where should we go? Where should we begin? Right there. Outside? The beginning? It to. technically starts outside. So we're going to show you guys the entire house tour. We set it up. This is going to be the first time you guys have ever seen outside our house then. Mm -hmm. All right. We're going to go over the detail. This is going to be a daytime walkthrough. So nothing's plugged in. You're going to see there's no lights plugged in right now. We'll do a nighttime walkthrough filled with all the lights and all the animatronics turned on. We'll do that later for you. But right now, let's head outside. Are right, you want to lead the way? Let's head outside. Let's go. And here we are outside our house. This is the first time they've ever seen outside. Welcome, mortals. So this is going to be the big um, giant inflatable that you walk in. It's pretty big. Stand right there, Ethan. It's pretty big. Ethan's pretty tall now. He's getting tall. It reaches right there. Do I have to duck? I don't think so. No, I don't have to duck. This thing, yeah, it's pretty tall. So you just walk in through here. This is where everyone's going to line up and wait for the maze. Ether, are you doing crowd control? Probably. I told him you could be a monster. You could do crowd control. You could pass out candy. What are you going to do this year, Ari? Um, I <laughs> what do you want to do? You could scare people. You could be uh, crowd I'm control. Gonna, I'm going to be helping with the candy. Oh, Ari's going to be passing out the candy. So if you happen to find our house this year, we're going to show you the details right now. I got to make sure I don't fall on the steps. But this is the first year, so we don't have it decorated fully the way I want to. I just had to go out and get as much stuff as I could um, in the time frame that I had. So this is like our camp area. So this is where we have like a little fire set up and a little kettle. And there's a little light right here to make it look like fire. And then we have these cool little govy lights. They change color. Right now they're kind of on, but you can't see. So there's a red one, a yellow one, I believe. And then you'll see some purple ones over here. We have a little wagon wheel and a vulture over there. I had to try to get some cool props and find as much old stuff as I can. We got a little wagon wheel bench there and a skeleton. But this giant werewolf, Ari, right, how tall is he? Go stand next to him. I forgot how tall he is. Like nine and a half feet, he reaches the roof. <laughs> He's tall, he either reaches his butt. <laughs> but let's go this way. We're not going to have anybody line up on the steps because that's just danger. So we're going to have people. We put tape right here so you can kind of know where to go. But people are going to go this way and then down this way and around this way. Here's the cars, guys, in case you're wondering. There's the cars and there's the dirty Tesla. I got to clean it. There it is. Ooh, looking pretty dirty. But the line's going to go wrap around this way, this way, and then go straight down that way. And there's plenty of parking around here. Bye, kids. They left. <laughs> All right, so here's where it's going to start, essentially. This is the start point. We got a little zombie here. And I love, I put my favorite tombstone. We bought a bunch of tombstones, and this one's my favorite. So you're going to see a bunch. It's just a little girl weeping. It says eternal rest. And then zombie. We've actually had this zombie for years. I didn't have to buy him. <laughs> We've had him since Carl's shop, huh? And then we had these little ground stakes. One fell over. These little ground stakes. We put cobwebs on here. Mama did that. She did all that. We didn't we didn't go fully all out because one, it gets super windy here, and I'm afraid that stuff is gonna blow out, like blow off the trees and stuff. And we got uh, this guy. Yeah, Winford Miser. Rest in peace, Winford Miser. Yep. Poor guy. Don't even know who he was. <laughs> and then this is another favorite one. I was afraid to put these outside because I was like, what if someone tries to steal them? Huh? There, that was pretty heavy, but I was like, what if someone tries to steal stuff? We, this is the first time we've decorated, so I don't know. I, was, I don't know if anyone's going to try to run off with the decorations. I hope not. And then we got this cool wagon. I bought this last year for Christmas, and it worked out really good. We made it look like a sleigh with a reindeer, and I was like, we could probably use this wagon for Halloween, too. And yeah, it looks pretty cool. 
we put some lanterns in the back and then strapped a little owl down to there and we just put some creepy cloth and fabric over the skeletons and then can i step over here yeah i can step here look there's a little vulture they look pretty cool the vulture and then put some little burlap stuff a old deteriorating pumpkin and then who's this guy uh rayburn rabbit poor rayburn rabbit was that his brother were they brothers were they friends i don't know <laughs> so that's all we really have out here is a couple tombstones a little zombie coming out of here the govi lights uh, a couple skeletons on the wagon and then let's head up the stairs there's pumpkins over here there's like little details i know i'm gonna miss oh right here i already know i'm gonna miss one so there's a spider web here on the cobwebs but inside we kind of put like a little cobwebbed mummified skeleton in here and it looks really cool at night when we turn on the lanterns those lanterns turn on those two there and then there's jumping spiders but we didn't plug them in i, f I didn't want them to jump and i was like eh. maybe next year maybe next year you'll see we put most of the work inside you'll see when we once we get inside the werewolf and then we put all the cables inside that little box this guy oh he's been a pain in the butt <laughs> this guy he's super skinny he looks cool i forgot his name limb ripper or something but I gotta warn you, there's gonna be kind of some little gory stuff. So like this right here. Yeah. So yeah, if you're faint of heart, look away. But if not, ooh, look at all the bloody guts everywhere. <laughs> but he kept blowing over. I had to put that on there. It got windy. I woke up one morning and boo, he was face down over there. His head rolled off over there. I was like, oh geez. But we got a couple lanterns here. We got a fog machine. The fog machine just came in a couple days ago. I almost wasn't going to do fog, but it needed it, huh? We had a friend come over. He's like, you guys need to put fog. So I didn't want to go all out. I don't know how many um, people are actually going to trick or treat over here this year, huh? It's not. Is it plugged in? Is it? Push it. Let's go. <laughs> it's plugged in. I forgot about that. All right, push it. But that thing works pretty good. Just hold it down. Look, let's go. It's gonna get super smoky and foggy up here. But yeah, that's oh, you smell it? Ooh, it smells good. Okay, you can let it go. But yeah, we got the fogger set up right here, so it's gonna be all foggy. Um, we got a black light set up right here. It's already on right now, so it's gonna make everything glow purple. There's a bat hanging up there, and then inside Carl's shop, I put a couple lights in there, and then there's some cobwebs in there. We had cobwebs up here. We just tried to stick it on and be a little lazy and then the wind blew it off and i was like yeah i don't feel like nailing stuff right now not right now i, I feel like we need to save something for next year right all right he's chilling <laughs> chilling like a villain <laughs> we gotta save improvements for next year you can't do it all this year mm -hmm. but we'll see no but it's like a trial and error i didn't know how well it was going to turn out this year so it's kind of trial and error yo, cobweb on yo, the door yo. that's actually one of the cobwebs that blew off i was like ah let's just slap it on the door and it looks pretty cool on the door but are you guys ready for inside? The very first room you enter. Welcome. Bye. Well, well okay, bye. <laughs> I guess not welcome. No one's welcome. Inside. Oh, I wish I could have done it before and after so you could see the change. This is the first room you're going to walk into. So this is our mausoleum. Can you say mausoleum? Mausoleum. Mausoleum. This is the mausoleum. So we covered up Carl's shop completely. This is where you'll see Carl's shop. I guess go ahead and shut the Ethan's gone. We were joking saying someone should hide back here and scare. Because look at that. <laughs> That's scary right there. All right. So when you first walk into the mausoleum, we put a couple. I didn't have enough. I wish I could wallpaper this whole area. Maybe as time goes on. But we at least got this area done with a little rip sign. Then we got some tattered cloths to go through. And it kind of keeps it out of perspective of what you're going to enter in next. And then we got our buddy Chuck here. What's up, Chuck? So I got to tell you guys the story, how he got assembled. He was not in the plans to make, but we bought like three people's collections. There was three different people we bought collections from. Some people had tombstones and some people had these little art decorations. So that's how I got a lot of this stuff. Pictures, um, candles and lanterns. We just bought a whole bunch of random stuff. Some of it we threw away. Some of it we donated. Some we gave to my sister. This guy was actually pieced together. The body was from one person. The suit was from another person and then like the whole outfit with the claws well with the the skeleton hands look at that it looks good the mask the hands that was from another person so it was literally from like three people we just mashed him together and we sat him in an old little chair that we have 
What's his name? Chuck? You guys gotta name him. Chuck. You you guys can officially name him in the comments below. Give him an official name. Bob! And then we got this cool tombstone right here. It's kind of heavy. That thing's pretty heavy. That one's cool. Ooh. These pictures are heavy. And then a little clock that has 13. It doesn't work. It was broken. It do I don't know what it does, though. I'm assuming it spins around. It's broken. It doesn't work. So you won't see that turned on. And then this guy talks, but it's not that scary. I want it to be really, really spooky. There's like, there's family friendly, and then there's like really gory scary. I wanted it somewhere in between. But when you first walk in, there's arrows. These things glow. Should I show them a sneak peek? A sneak peek. You guys want to kind of see? Sure. All right, so there's a black light on this wall. You guys are going to get just one sneak peek because this is the room that glows like the best. You want to turn off the light? Go turn off the light over there. Who turned on all the candles? Okay, this is without the black light. With the black light. Bam! Look at that. Oh, come here. Let me see your face, Ethan. Let me see your face. Look how these glows. It glows so good. Let me see your face. Oh, we had face paint. So we just had a family party. And we put on UV glow face paint. Okay, you can turn the lights back on. I'm getting scared. Okay. I'm really scared. <laughs> <laughs> and we, yeah, we had glowing face paint. So it looked like a little hovering skull was coming at you. But we got these little pillars. I don't know where they came from. I had bought it from a lady's collection. And I asked her where she got them. She only remember. But these little pillars look cool. And it kind of holds the cloth from getting blown out into the hallway. This is Carl's shop. We made it kind of hard to get into. You have to like really go in deep. We put layers on layers of this cloth. So that no one accidentally walks into Carl's shop. But you can see Carl's shop is in there. You guys want to see what it looks like? There you go. Yeah, there's Carl's shop inside here in case you're wondering. Yeah, then we got, let's see, the stuff on the wall, you can see this, Hellingsley Cemetery. That was already there, I didn't name yeah, it. That is not the place it's Yeah, <laughs> this is the mausoleum to Hellingsley Cemetery. That's so hard to say, Hellingsley. 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 All right, Chuck is over here. I'm going to call him Chuck for now until you guys give him an official name. The next room. Da -da -da. There's something inside here I've never showed you guys. Michael Myers. But I didn't want anyone to like see a door and open it. Well, there's no lock on it. But there's something inside there. I'll show you guys in another video. We put this Michael Myers little door cloth. It looks cool because when the UV's shining, it's just his face glowing. You don't see much else. Mm -hmm. We'll do the nighttime walkthrough so you guys will see. Then we got this room. This is probably, I'll warn you right now, faint of heart. This is probably the most goriest room, I guess you could say. Yeah. So if you don't want to see like blood and like body parts, turn this video off right now or skip it. Just skip this room. But this room... Doesn't have an official name except the slasher room. We're just calling it the slasher room. Oh, <laughs> what do you see? My lady crawling down the stairs. The exorcist. Oh, we got Reagan crawling down the stairs. I put a strobe light at the top of the stairs right there so it's blinking down. So we got Reagan right here coming down the stairs. Yeah, everyone came at the family part and everyone was sitting right here taking pictures with her. And yeah, we got cobwebs on the banister here. Uh, these will all glow bl like kind of purple and then there's black lights here as well So she kind of illuminates. Mm -hmm. We'll get to that room later. Remember you got to stay on the tape So when you first come in you're on the green tape You guys see the tape and then the arrows will tell you that's the exit So the entrance and the exit is the same door yep. You walk this way and our rules are stay on the tape Don't touch anything and the third one is watch your step because there are stairs here Ooh, I forgot his name. He was in the Spirit Halloween movie. What's his name? Bubble Guy. That's what we call him. Bubble Guy? Bubba Gump? Um, That's what we call him. Big Guy. Saw Bubba. Saw I don't know his name. I forgot his I'm so he bad with names. But yeah, I have him about right here. And it's super cool because the saw blade spins. And if you stay on the tape, you come within like shoulder distance of this thing. It's so cool when he turns towards you. But everything's plugged off right now. But I did a lot of work with this chain. I had a bunch of chain and I had a bunch of barbed wire. And I just decided to slap it on the ceiling everywhere. So this chain runs from here to there. And then all the way across the room over there to the bathroom area. And then all through here. So this is what I meant by kind of gory stuff. So there's some skeletons. We got lights here. There's like three different lights on each Fence. I had to buy the fences. Uh, everyone's like, are you crazy? You're putting fence inside your house? And I was like, well, yeah, because it's too open. We had to give it some division. There's a big tarp right here that covers. That's the final room you're going to enter. We'll get there later. 
But at night, it's pretty cool because it creates a divide. You can't really see what's going to happen in front of you, but you still see the lights projecting from what's happening in there. So it gives it some ominous, I don't know, this ominous feeling. You know you're going to walk into something. Mm -hmm. There's this guy. Fred? Is his name Fred? Sure. Because it rhymes with dead? Ah. <laughs> Sorry, Fred. You're dead. <laughs> at least he's got his head. Chucky! Yay, Chucky! Chucky. What's Chucky doing? Chucky's playing with all... We have actual surgical equipment. That is crazy. We bought a collection from a lady. It's the same one that had the little pillars, the little from the mausoleum. She gave me all this stuff. I bought like everything she had because she was moving to Arizona. And she's like, I have to get rid of all my stuff. Otherwise, it's going in the trash. We're moving by the end of the month. Just take everything. And I was like, okay. So I offered her a price. And she started pulling out boxes. And look at this surgical tray with like, this is real equipment. This thing's heavy. She was showing me the prices on how much these things cost. I was like, oh my gosh. So that's pretty cool. So some of this stuff isn't fake. This is actual, this is real. Don't judge it. For proof? <laughs> For proof, we're gonna do a lobotomy on Ari right now. <laughs> Sit down, Ari. We're gonna do brain surgery on you. <laughs> we put some creepy cloth. Hey, so I do gotta tell them this. What's What was hard about planning this whole thing was we are still having a family party, which we just had. Everyone had so much fun. And we're having a friend party. Mm -hmm. So we still had to leave it open enough. So keep that in mind. We had to keep it open so that people could still sit down, chill, have fun, watch movies. So you see the all living room. Yeah, all the fun stuff. It was super fun. We're having a friend party this weekend, so I can't wait for that. But we got all kinds of stuff. There's Easter eggs on this table. We got Jason Voorhees, Friday the 13th. We got Michael Myers' knife back there. Leatherface's uh, chainsaw is there. And he's right there. This is the one that everyone, this was everybody's favorite. Leatherface, he's my most, I want to say, scariest character. If I had to list who is the scariest character to me, it's Leatherface. His size, his chainsaw, he's just crazy. There's no talking to this guy. <laughs> You can't talk. Freddy Krueger and Chucky, you could probably try to convince them. You might be able to get away with it if you're smart enough. This guy, he ain't listening to nothing, you got to say. Look at it. He has eyes inside there. Mm -hmm. It's really hard to see, but when some of the light reflects. Very spooky. Yeah, I put lights back there as well. So that one over there projects and casts his shadow. And when he revs up his chainsaw, it goes up to the ceiling. But man, he's, un he's so unstable. He started wobbling through the night. And he ended up getting to over here and hitting the barbed wire, which was moving like the whole barbed wire. He's moving. The base is moving. It was swinging all of these because it's connected. So when he went off, it was moving everything. And I think that freaked people out even more because it made them feel real. So we didn't put any monsters for this first one. Um, yeah, the Ethan was outside. We didn't put any, yeah, any real monsters. <laughs> Ethan monster was here. But we just had all the animatronics. Um, maybe next year we'll go all out and like actually have like friends come help us and do all that. But um, I think it would be cool. But that's another level. That's another step. This is really our first haunted house. So you guys tell us in the comments what we should add, what you didn't like, what you loved. Like there's a lot of room. I didn't realize there was going to be so much room over here in like dead space. So I just I don't want to buy something just for the heck of it to just put it there and fill space. I want it to like make sense and look good. Yeah, eat to stand there the whole night. <laughs> All right, Ari, take us into the next room. So this is the slasher room. You saw the mausoleum. Oh, we got the no one leave sign. I think we got this at Party City. We got the electrical outlet. We scared my aunt so bad. We freaked my aunt out. I told my cousin to stand over here. And I went like this and I touched him with it. And I told my aunt, she didn't know what this was. She was completely oblivious. And I winked at him so he knew what was gonna happen. She flipped the wire and my cousin started acting like he was getting electrocuted. <laughs> my, <laughs> my aunt was freaked out. We had so much fun, but that's why I love having the party. Ethan wasn't a huge fan of Halloween until now, I think. Yeah. Ari was, this is why I wanted to do it. Cause Ari was so pumped about Halloween. I've always loved it. I just took a break from it for a few years. And now we're back. And then, you see right here, you <laughs> so this is the least decorated room. Yeah. We got just cobwebs here. There's a giant black light there that lights up the whole room. And then we have a strobe light here. And then we put some of the cobwebs. These again were the cobwebs that were outside. They blew off. So I just ended up throwing them here because it hides the wires really well. 
And you're gonna see zip ties. You're probably wondering, hey, cut those zip ties. But it worked good for sticking this on. So it, it did double duty. It killed two birds with one stone. It held the lights on, the barbed wire, and then it also hung the cloth. So zip ties was my best friend. We got baby Aaron. <laughs> so Aaron's over here. Hi, Aaron. He's snacking and munching. This is his, his snack. And, this is his drink. and then in here, it's cool. We got Canada dry in here. If you guys want to know something that glows in black light, just put tonic water, Canada dry. Yep. And yeah, if you, if you know, what, and it'll glow. So this glows blue. He's grubbing. And then we just put a few little tea light candles here. This little, like, kind of shawl to cover the fireplace. Oh yeah, I forgot about this stuff. We got old time projector yeah, over here. An actual working projector. Yeah, we got the Help Me pro, uh, typewriter yeah, here. This thing's it. heavy. It's actually heavy. It feels yeah. like the size of a real typewriter. Yeah, heavy. It's heavy. If you yeah. drop down on someone's head, it's gonna knock them out. It's <laughs> it's heavy. It's, it's a part of the maze. Yeah, and then we have the sound system hooked up, so I'll keep my phone over here, and then I hook up the phone, so we have the surround in here. I didn't know how I was going to do sound, but luckily the TV surround sound worked out perfect. I turned it up all the way and it blasts. Here we got Reagan. Uh-oh. Last year, I bought this uh, Halloween last year. It was the only thing I bought because I thought it was freaky, super freaky. Mm -hmm. And I know everyone's scared of Exorcist. That's, that's pretty freaky. I think Leatherface still takes the cake, but she has a projector on her back. Right here's a little projector and it projects the demon. I don't know the demon's name. And it projects it like right around somewhere right here on the wall. So you'll see it at night. Then we bought this thing. I think we got at Party City like really cheap. It was on clearance. And it's super cool. She like floats off the ground and levitates and starts yelling and screaming. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'll go ahead and open the door. So the PlayStation, all the Legos, it's going to be covered by the door. But yeah, we basically just took out... Anything we didn't want stolen. Everyone's like, you're you're going to trust people to come to your house? And I was like, well, there's nothing to steal if you want an old Despicable Me DVD. <laughs> then go ahead. But everything's cleared out. There's really nothing to take. We have our chairs here for the party. Um, I put speakers here because I'm going to hook up some speakers outside and inside. The, the ones I had were really, really cheap. I didn't like the sound of them. But yeah, so you come through here. And this is the next room. This is, well, the next area, the boneyard. Oh, the boneyard. Because we got bones over here. We got, what's his name again? Nightcrawler. Nightcrawler? I was like something, Nightwalker, Stalker guy. He's cool. Out of all the animatronics, my sister doesn't freak out at all, really. That actually got her. He jumps up. She thought it was going to lunge forward. So she was standing back and she didn't expect he goes really high and that's what caught her off guard. So he's pretty cool. He was the hardest to assemble out of all the animatronics you're going to see. If I knew he was that troublesome, I probably wouldn't even have bought it. But check out all the stuff out here. These tombstones though, man, some of them keep falling over. They're hard to stick in. I was like, cemetery? Man, it's so tedious. But here we have other of my favorite ones. This one is really, really cool. It says, my beloved. Everyone that came through, they you can see all the different tombstones we have. This one's my favorite too. We got per Mossy, Permanilla, Permanilla Mossy. That's the heaviest one. That little angel, that yeah, baby angel is heavy. That one's heavy. My sister loves that one. She's like, I want to get a tattoo of that. I'm waiting and watching for you. Who said that? Here lies the remains of Dur Grando. Yeah, there's so I'm telling you, we got these from like collections and from different yeah. people. So there's different tombstones everywhere. And some are heavy, some are light. The ones in the back are kind of like styrofoam, so I put them against the wall. They don't really blow over. All of these are heavy. Some of these are heavy duty. That one was everybody's favorite. This one. Everyone's like, where did you get that? And I was like, I just bought it from a collection. But it's pretty big. Stand next to it, are you? You can see how big it is. Yeah, her wing reaches your waist. That one's huge. That one's super cool. We put a little zombie here. A little head here. You're going to see little heads everywhere. Just random heads. This zombie is super cool. This one looks scary. I don't know where it came from. I got it from that collection. <laughs> <laughs> I just found people online that were selling a bunch of Halloween stuff. And I said, hey, I'm willing to buy it all for this price. And they're like, okay. And they took it. So I was like, yeah. And even this. Look, camo netting. I got a bunch of camo netting and a bunch of like burlap and moss. Grassy stuff. 
So I have a bunch of that stuff. I just didn't buy enough fences because I didn't have enough other decorations. I don't want you to just walk through random nothingness. So it all has to make sense in my mind so it makes sense in your mind. That makes sense? I think it makes sense. But we have these little lanterns here. So it's all going to light up. We have lantern there, there, there. There, there, there. Yeah, we just put this little creepy cloth to make sure you don't walk off into the grass. But remember, you're supposed to stay on the tape. And then we got tape here. So it tells you where to go. Mm -hmm. You follow the tape this way. And then, and then uh, you got to have it. You got to have it. Everybody loves clowns or they're scared of clowns. It's one or the other. <laughs> you hate it or love it. Put your comments. Do clowns scare you? I want to know because some to me, I am not I'm not scared of pretty much almost anything. I don't get freaked out. Are you scared of clowns? No. No? Ari's actually been pretty good. When the leather face went off for the first time, that's when I first saw her genuinely get scared. <laughs> Ethan, would anything scare you here? I don't think so. Anything spooky? Mm. If I if I if the kids were honestly like deeply scared of any of this stuff, I probably wouldn't have put it up because I don't want to traumatize them. But they're like legit, they don't care. <laughs> so I was like, that's cool, better for me to do it. So I think that's why this was a good year to do it, because Ari's not scared. We got a little graveyard sign. That's just pointing kind of like to the sky. Yeah. Yeah. But eventually I want to get the maze big enough to go through the whole yard. I already have a map in mind of how I would do it. But I need more fences, tarps, more decorations, money. more wiring to get out there, more lighting. And I don't have that much stuff, huh? We need some money. And we need money. So everybody don't yeah, everybody donate money. me one penny. Yep. And I'll have a total one dollar I could buy something. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Yay. We'll have so we have Pick one written on the floor after you get to this point. So everyone right now, before we head into the little clown area, this thing is huge. I think he's 12 feet tall. Yeah, he's really huge. Look at his feet. I think Shaq's feet are still bigger than that. But look at his feet. This is my foot. Oh, geez. He's got big feet. Yep. <laughs> All right. You guys have to pick one color. We have orange, pink, blue, green. yellow, green. Yeah. When you go through here, you got to pick a color, and I'll warn you right now, only one of these you're going to survive. I want to pick blue. You want blue? The middle one? You're going to play it safe? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Ethan, what color did you pick? Green. Green? One. All right, I'll go with yellow. Okay, All right, so we got blue, green, yellow. No one picked those. But inside here, we got some pool floaties. Or are they call them pool noodle floaties? No, these are pool floaties. Yeah, pool floaties. So if you're wondering, we just hung these all inside of this old easy up. We got a divider here. There's a clown right here. I didn't turn them on. I was like, eh, he's kind of cheap. I didn't have them plugged in. It still freaks people out. They're not expecting a clown in here when they first walk in. And then we got this little cool crazy show cloth. We didn't buy much this year. We actually bought all these decorations like months ago. And I just went and bought last minute stuff. So I got this this year at the spirit store. Then, oh, you're blocking them. My makeshift dummy. Oh. Where's the <laughs> killer class? <laughs> it's actually a little zombie with, <laughs> with a mask on. I don't know, but I, this came in the collections. I had all the masks. So I was like, oh, let me just throw it on him. So it looks pretty cool. He's sitting in a little lounge chair right at you. So you turn through here. Stripes and flags. Yeah, Ethan had to help me big time with all these little stripes. We striped them and they're, it's like UV um, paper. Yeah, it's reactive. And then we got all these flags up here. So you turn here. Hope you guys are following along on your color. Yep. Keep in mind your color. Choose it now. Choose it now. Put it in the comment right now. Choose your color right now. I'm on yellow, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm sticking on yellow. Ethan's on green. You're going to find out where you're going next. Then we got, oh, here's my girlfriend here, guys. Say hi to my girlfriend. Yep. Yeah, she's looking pretty good. She yep. got all dressed up for the occasion. It looks cool because she glows at night. And a little sign. We got the the craziest show on earth sign right here. Come on, you're supposed to do your job, girlfriend. You're supposed yeah, to hold the sign. Here's my homie. <laughs> yep. Here, so this area, I should rewind. It's called the clown party. Oh, yeah. Oh, you can see it. Here's the clown party. Yeah, so we have a party. table over here. Terrifier already had this little thing where she could put stuff on, like hats and stuff in her room. So I took it and I drew Terrifier's face on there with a Sharpie. I just drew it. <laughs> so yeah, I, I wish they had like a Terrifier animatronic. I'd put that. 
Then we got this little clown popping out of a trash can. Nice to meet you. And then we remember we still had to keep in mind the party. So the seating for the party is like here and then here we have some chairs there. And then check out all the stuff we just put randomly on the table. These were cones that Ethan was using for basketball. And then there, we actually have that ball floating around. You can kick the ball around when you're in here. You're going to notice balloons everywhere. We have UV balloons. Everybody popped them at the party, huh? Yeah. <laughs> but there's going to be balloons everywhere. There's popped one right there. Oh, if you chose green, let's go back. Yep. Who's on green? Me. All right, so if you chose green. Ethan already died. Ha, he got you. You're dead. You yeah. Turn this way. There we go. That's who got you. He's dead. Yeah. I chose yellow. Let's go yellow. If you chose orange, oh, <laughs> jump scare. If you chose orange, ah, he got you. No. If you chose pink, pink who got you? Ah. Pennywise. Oh, Pennywise got you. Can we see yours, Dad? Time to float. We all float down here, Georgie. Do <laughs> <laughs> we got this right here? This is super cool. It covers the fireplace. I didn't want anyone messing with the fireplace. So that's there. And then if you turn around. Bam, you can see there's like a door claw there. I put it right there because the UV light makes it glow. So just little details. I had to pay attention to little details like that. The awning will light up. Again, there's like Govi lights and we put it to a rainbow setting. So it just flashes all kinds of colors. You'll see all that in the nighttime walkthrough. We'll do that later. And then we got the other clown mask here. So you can see just random little stuff here. And then there we got Pennywise. And then, dun dun dun, I think his name Stitches. Wait, yeah. Stitches the clown. Yeah, he's huge. He was actually not too bad, not too hard to put together. You died, you picked he's up? huge, but yeah, I was yellow. He got me. I won. So the safe one, Ari knew already. You cheated. <laughs> if you want the safe one, it's blue. Pick the middle. Pick the middle if you want to stay alive. Me, well, now they know and they go. I might change it every year. I'll change the color so you won't know. I'll change the layout. All right, and then we got this guy right here. He's a jump, like a, you put a bowl in his little hand and then you grab the candy and he pops out. But I was like, ah, eh, no, I don't want him leaning down. It's fine because some people might like, activate him. I don't know, I just left him there and I gave him a chainsaw. He does the job. Yeah. And then Stitches is the one that decorated this whole area with the flags. Yep. So the flag goes all the way across. All that, I just bought that stuff on Amazon. The tape, I bought it on Amazon. Um, the stripes, just got that on Amazon. The floaties and the the flags. That's pretty much it. This little, what is this? The little table cover. It's pretty much it. And then I just got that light. I think it's Spirit Store. Can't remember. Party City. I think Party City. All right. That's the clown area. There's balloons there. We're deflating. Mm -hmm. Ha. <laughs> Time to go into. Kill it. Oh, that one was loud. Kill this one. That one was really loud. Here we have the tarp. This was crazy. I had to cut all these tarps to size and then shred them up a little bit. Here we have the seance room. Uh-oh. Trigger warning. Trigger warning. I'll tell you right now. There's a Ouija board in the house. I know. Super, super controversy surrounding the Ouija board. No, don't touch it. <laughs> don't touch it. Don't, don't touch it. Like, we kept it on. No, we're like, nope. Stay out of here. So whether you believe in the Ouija board or not, that's totally up to you. I'm not going to test or find out. I ain't playing with it. So I told the kids, the whole, you can mess around with all this stuff, except the Ouija board. There ain't no playing the Ouija board in our house. So in case you're wondering, I wouldn't even touch it. Are you? I will. You're going you're gonna to spirit following you tonight in your bed. You wake up, there's going to be a ghost laying next to you. I want to sleep with you. No, you ain't. Yeah. <laughs> you ain't bringing that ghost in my bed. <laughs> All right, so we got we got this right here with the little cat and the jars. I put um, Canada Dry. Again, Canada Dry is my best friend. Put it inside of a jar, and we got crazy labels. So I bought these. We got poison, formaldehyde. We got Mrs. Winslow's opium syrup. I don't even know. It's like tonics and stuff. Yeah. Snake poison, voodoo stuff. I don't know what it is. But there was a story for this room. The story and everything will come another time. You're not ready for the story yet. Yeah, they're, they're, I'm telling you. Everywhere that has an empty jar, I put Canada Dry in there. Snake oil. Then for the party, this is where... I might have to take it down for the actual maze. This is where we fill all the candy. Man, this thing was full of chocolate. It was. Yeah, we told the family, go ahead and take... It was full. 
We told the family, go ahead and take as much as you want to home. I shouldn't have said that because this bull got empty. <laughs> and this bull is gone. That's okay. We got the friend part. I still got more bags of candy. You're going to eat a candy right now? All right, what candy do you guys want? There's M&M's. There's Snickers. Eat anything you want. Milky Way. Ew. Nobody wants Milky Way. <laughs> Ew. What else? And then we got, oh, these are my favorites. Sour Patch. Sour Swedish patch. Fish. Is there any Sour Patch Watermelon? Oh, right here. I love these. This is one of my favorites. The pink ones I are. Love that. I love those. And then here, we got oh, Twizzlers, Jolly Ranchers, Reese's, Krabby Patties. Krabby Patties. Hershey's, and that was almost the same thing. And I got extra tarp down here just in case I needed it, but I don't think I do. Yeah. Another black light. There's lights on this table here with bones and then more candles like you saw at the entryway. I just put a bunch of those candles there. They worked really good. It was like $10 for... 24 of these on Amazon. Man, that thing, Amazon was my best friend this year. Thank huh? you. <laughs> it ordered everything. Oh, yeah. It opens its eye. And it starts saying stuff like, I see you. I got my eye on you. It says stuff like that. But, but I didn't turn it on because it was a little cheesy. But this is all stuff that I got from like the collections and stuff that I bought. Haunted books. Like the book will move by itself. There's a little sensor here. And we got poison apple recipe. So I put the poison jars there. So it looks like someone's trying to make it. There's a little, I think it's a, a rat. <laughs> I think so. Something. It's a little gopher. Ethan's best friend right there. <laughs> Do we have another little rat right here? And then we got these pictures. So, ooh, the pictures are cool. Yeah, we got a, like a whole bunch of pictures. And I tried to put it so that it looks somewhat decent. Maybe I should have spread it out a little more. But I left room in case I get more pictures I could fill. I wanted this to be like a full wall full of pictures. But this is all I got. This is all I got. Every year I'll try to add and get some more. But look at this. Oh, no, look at that. <laughs> and then we got, let's see, just a random regular lady. Yeah, it's just a regular lady. Ooh, you see that? Ooh. And then it turns into, ooh, that's scary, Hari. What do we have here? Oh, that one's oh, that one's gruesome. Mm -hmm, that one's pretty bad. Oh, yeah, that one's gruesome. She's just behind them, and then oh, Damn. she beheaded them. Dude, that one's bad. Then we got this little zombie kid, nice little kid, getting good grades in school, and then bam, the one that killed his teacher. Oh, that's yeah. so bad. This one's freaky. Look at the babies, cause cause we have baby we have baby Aaron in the house, so this one just freaks me out. That kid right there, look, he looks happy. And then, <laughs> look at that one. <laughs> All right, then we got this guy. He kind of follows you. Do you guys see that? Yeah, like he follows you when you walk. Look, it's not motion sensor or nothing. It's just he follows you. Does he go this way though? No. No, he, he lost me. I ditched him. I juked him. But yeah, he follows you. That's pretty cool. And then this lady, she just turns into like a little zombie. Regular lady, zombie. Regular lady, zombie. <laughs> you get the idea. But we got those. There's skulls here. This skull is pretty freaky on the table. Look at that. Explain that one to me. I don't know. I don't know. And there's little spiders on the table. These candles light up. And then we got the Ouija board and skulls. So it looks like there's like a seance going on here. All that will make sense later. Then again, we got cobwebs. There's a black light deer. Some bats. Some skull bats and regular bats. Then here's... Oh, what's her name? Do we have a name for her? Uh, what tree? Granny. Yeah, Granny. We got our Granny here. So she's standing right here. And then we got these little skeleton guys over here. Dressed like, I guess you could say like little... My body. Little worshippers. Mm -hmm. But something went wrong in this room. I'm not going to tell you just yet. But this is the final room, the seance room. And then it leads you back out. If you follow the tape and follow the arrows and you didn't break the rules. I remember his name now. Huh, whose name? Buzzsaw. Oh, Buzzsaw. There we go. Thank you. Thank you, DJ. And then you follow the tape, and it leads you back through here. So you're going to cross paths with her again. Remember her? She was from the beginning. And then you're going to see a lot of people don't even see this until they're on their way out. Uh, like my sister-in-law. She was like, what the heck? I didn't see that the first time I came through. I was like, yeah. <laughs> and then it leads you back through here. And then back through the exit where they'll get their candy through here. You exit, follow this blue tape. I guess, Ari, you're going to be handing out candy? Yep, my mama. Okay, so Ari and Mama can be sitting over here. We'll put table, a chair. They can hand out candy. Yeah. And then, yeah. Ethan, you're going to do crowd control? Yep. We got, where's the little thing at? Oh, yeah. Where is it? Oh, 
It was right here. Oh, I, I put it. <laughs> <laughs> gonna do crowd control, I guess. And then, yeah, we got the little one. Let's see. You see the one? Bam, right there. There you go. Yeah, it has two kind of modes. There you go. You got a, a lightsaber. Mm -hmm. Eat is going to do crowd control. So we'll let in certain groups at a time. So oh, don't worry about the cross people. path. I don't expect there to be a ton of people this year because this is the first year we're doing this. Come on, come on. <laughs> Just everybody. Everybody. But tomorrow, me and Ari are actually going to go hand out flyers around the whole neighborhood. Oh, here, the here, local neighborhood. Here, 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 but... Here. I don't want to show you the flyer right now. It's going to have our address. Maybe, I don't know, if this video gets enough likes and I'm proud of it and I'm happy, everything went smooth, there was no problems, then maybe, just maybe, we'll share where the event is and you guys could come and chill and go through the maze on Halloween next year. But we're doing a sneak peek for all the locals in the area on Saturday before Halloween. And then we're going to do the actual um, maze as well on Halloween, on Tuesday. So two days. And then the other Saturday and Sundays is going to be for friend party, family party, which we had. It was so much fun. We got some feedback already. But I'm having so much fun setting up. I can't wait to do it even bigger, better next year. But leave your comments. What do you guys think of the setup? Would you want to come to the house maze? And no. Uh? No. No? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got the name for the maze, so if you hear words spreading around, Nightmare Hill. Nightmare Hill? Nightmare Hill. Nightmare Hill. Trust me, it will all be explained in good time later, another day. But if you guys want to come to Nightmare Hill one day, then put your comment down below. Like the video. Share the video. What else do you got to do, guys? Subscribe, like, and comment. Yeah, and we'll catch you guys in the next video when we upload the nighttime walkthrough. I won't be talking. You guys could just go along with me and the camera. And go through it at night. Ooh, it's going to be spooky. But we love each and every single one of you. And we'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye, everybody. Bye.